Hello friends, it's Techman Pat. Today we are gonna be doing something a little bit interesting, a little bit different, but it's all about bargains and uh, this is what I love doing. So if you guys aren't aware, there's obviously a website called Oz Bargain. This is where this has come from. Um, they link up a lot of great deals on Amazon, eBay, actually anywhere where there's some sort of monetary sale that could get you a good deal on something. Um, if you wanna check it out, I'll put the link below. Um, maybe you've heard of it maybe you haven't either way it's very popular and one of the things you can get on here is it's quite it happens quite often is a hard drive and this is an external hard drive as you can see here it's um, it's a box it comes with a power cord and I'll talk about that in a second and you connect it up via USB to your computer for more storage now the interesting thing about this is that WD elements is a pretty popular hard drive maker and they make these enclosures too and they sell these enclosures for a lot less than if you were to buy the actual hard drive. And you might wonder to yourself, well, what, hang on, what's going on? Are you telling me that I can buy a 10 terabyte external hard drive for less than if you were to buy the real hard drive that you can plug it into your computer and it comes with all these other things? Yes, spot on, exactly, absolutely correct. What happens is that WD Elements takes hard drives that are obviously quite large, maybe even premium. They might down clock the speed of the RPM or the spinning disks. Sometimes they actually don't and most of the time these days they don't because it's just not worthwhile. Um, and they'll put a white label on the hard drive which basically means it's not branded. It's like buying an unbranded Ferrari. Technically, internally, it's still a Ferrari. It just doesn't really have the badge. Uh, you might buy a shirt or pants that doesn't have you know, Adidas on it. It's still technically made in the same factory. It's still the exact same item. It just doesn't have the brand. So what it is inside is a white labeled hard drive, the same one they would sell for double the amount at a store. So here's the deal, WD Elements 10 terabyte external hard drive was being sold for 162 American dollar ruse, which roughly translates to about 260 Australian dollars for a 10 terabyte external hard drive. That itself is actually a fantastic deal, uh, free delivery if you are an Amazon Prime member. What I'm interested in is actually the hard drive that's inside here, because to buy a similar hard drive from let's say PLE or, or any reputable store, you're looking at about $350 to $450, which is a lot of money. So this is a way to save a bit of money. What we're gonna do, we're gonna shuck it. That's the word we use uh, to, to display uh, what we're gonna be doing. So it's called shucking a hard drive, an external hard drive enclosure and the video will be called something along those lines. Now, one of the interesting things with this is that it comes with a power plug that is American only. One of the things is obviously you're buying from America, you might need something like this, which is a little adapter, or you could buy a whole new thing like this. In any case, we don't need this, um, but I was able to obviously test it, run some tests that this all uh, works, um, and the hard drive is fine. So we're gonna put the cables away. Now, shucking will void the warranty, so obviously, do this at your own peril but you know we bought this from Amazon and we expect it to at least hold up as a normal hard drive um, so there's a few caveats in this now you might use something like this like a little pulley system here and you can open that up and it's just plastic tabs under there you're not going to be damaging anything we will need a screwdriver a little bit later on but once you get this off you can then just peel it off There you have it, it's a 10 terabyte Western Digital. As you can see, it is white labeled internal use hard drive. It is actually a lie, it's actually a red label uh, and I'll link below what the actual hard drive is if you were to buy it officially through a proper store. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove it from this little cage here. And the best thing to do is these little rubber grommets up here, they literally just pop out. So you can just push it through. There's not no tool required for this bit. What you wanna make sure is just pull out this little fiber optic cable beforehand um, so you don't break it. I mean, if you wanna reuse it and you want the light to pop up, you wanna take that out. And we're just gonna push it out. You know, you can't really damage this hard drive. It is, after all, um, just a hard drive. I'm just gonna pop that open, push some of these bits out too. It might be a little bit hard to push out, but uh, you know, it's bendable plastic. It's, it's not gonna break uh, and you can get it out pretty easily. There you go. Save these bits and pieces because you definitely could put a different hard drive in here and I will be doing that uh, later on. Finally, we have to unplug this bit here and there's two screws, one here and one here. 
So you might wonder why I'm doing this. Well, I need more hard drive space on my computer because of all these YouTube videos. I do hold on to them for a little while. And the best way to store it is just locally. Um, a little bit of a rubber grommet here, but all we do is just push that off and you can reuse this, so keep it safe. There we have it, my friends. This is a 10 terabyte hard drive that you can now plug in and put into your computer. Now there is a caveat. You can only do this with certain brands because some of them will actually put a little tab inside a pin here where you will need to put a little bit of tape to hold it. Now I've opened up my PC, I've taken out an old hard drive right here and I'm gonna be sticking in the new one. Now I mentioned that there is an issue with one of the pins. So one of the ways that WD tries to stop you from actually installing this in normal computers and trying to bypass how inflated their prices is, not just their prices, but everybody's price is inflated, is they have put a new specification in the SATA power port, which means the third pin, literally the third pin along here from this side, from the left, as you're looking at this, draws a 3.5 volt current. Now, every time this little current is connected, the hard drive will not boot. Now, this doesn't happen to every single power supply. Uh, it happens to the more newer ones, so you might get lucky. Now, if you're not lucky, there are two things you can do. You can get a piece of non-conductive tape and cover that third pin. Or you can get this little adapter, which is about three, four dollars from eBay. And basically all it is, is a Molex to SATA power. And the reason for this is because it's missing a certain few cables. Because it only provides power, it doesn't provide anything else. It's missing that 3.5 volt cable. So what you do is, well, you plug in your hard drive just as you would otherwise, but instead of using the provided SATA cables, you use this adapter on the Molex cable and you'll be able to connect your hard drive that will boot straight in off the back of this. And that is just a really quick and easy way to uh, bypass it. I'm not sure why WD does it. Uh, I think it would probably be better off if they just didn't inflate their prices ridiculously uh, and sold it at the same price as an external and people wouldn't do this. Um, but here we are. Now, one of the other things to note is the actual warranty on uh, this device or this hard drive is actually very similar to the one you get from there. So it's a year uh, and also the other one is two years. So I mean, the, big, the difference isn't much. Um, but you never know, just something to note. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been a little bit helpful. I'm just about to plug this in and get on with it. I've already tested it just before, uh, but I wanted to share with you. Um, now, if you are gonna be doing anything with the tape, please use a very sharp knife to cut the table as thin as possible. And also, if you're gonna be doing this, uh, make sure you are grounded, maybe use one of those wrist things. Um, because you are touching the pins on here. And the best thing to do is not do this and just get one of these, uh, bringing the whole cost to $364 instead of $360 Australian dollars. Friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like content like this. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in another video. Thanks and goodbye.